disrespect another black man on here today. But right, here goes Floyd bad. Mayweather. Bad, he go, he go Floyd Mayweather. He couldn't find he, it. Uh, yeah, he couldn't find it. Here we go right here. Let's go. <laughs> we had a chance to hang out in 2016 when you represented America, when you represented the red, white, and blue. You only want to be treated fair. Um, I was going to post something on one of my social media pages, but I decided to do it at? the old school way and read it out to you because you're a great person, great father, a uh, great athlete, and you believe what you believe. America is the land of the free. Freedom of speech, freedom of religion, and supposedly freedom to choose. Never be controlled by money. I respect you for having some integrity and being your own man. A free mind makes his own choices, and a slave mind follows the crowd. Stand for something or fall for anything. One man can lead a revolution to stand up and fight for what's right. One choice, one word, one action can change the world. It's crazy how people hate you for being a leader. I hope your actions mm -hmm. encourage many others to stand up and say enough is enough. Respect to you, Kyrie, and power to the people. And that was actually more for him to read, but he said, uh, uh, I'm gonna stop right here. <laughs> I was gonna say, I, 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 I bet you, I bet you that was wrote in purple marker. Man, bro, hey, LMB. Man, man, crayon. Hey, hey, that was dope. Y'all right. deflected was, away from the issue. Bro, that, was, was cool that was cool. That was cool. Taking that stance and standing up for Kyrie. Yeah, he was he talking like, about. Much. So he was talking hey, about. He was talking about. Uh, teaming up with Kyrie and doing some uh, and actually put money into something that's going to bring awareness and and things of that nature to uh, the community. Yeah, a lot of money too. So that would be dope if that if if that's not just talk, Floyd Mayweather. If that's not just talk, let's do that. Let's do that. And one thing that I want to say is uh, I want to ask y'all this. This is my last serious question of the of the evening. When y'all were in school, right? When y'all were in school, um, and uh, they talked about, uh, and you were in history. They talked about slavery, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Did they? Uh, did your history classes ever mention what people of color were before slavery in your history class? Hell no. Oh no. No, I don't, I don't think Snack they King do. Cole? Snack. Nah, man, we just watched Roots, really, to, to be honest yeah, with you. Like, that, that was shit. all I had. So, so that's, that's, my, that's my point. And uh, that's, that's one of the things that Kyrie was speaking on as well when he was talking to one of the, um, the, the, the whatever, the reporters or whatnot. A lot, of, a lot of times growing up, I know in my era, I don't know what they're doing now in school, but I know in history, growing up, all my years of school in history class, they mm -hmm. all they talked about was they talked about the American wars and stuff. But they started the the the, the history from people that came from Africa or just melanated, heavily melanated beings. They only spoke about slavery. That's it. And then when they did talk about pre-slavery, they talked about people just being in the jungle with spears and shit. Yeah. When that's not the truth. Yeah. And that's an issue. So what happens when you finally get older and you get a chance to actually go outside of the school normal way of teaching? You go and look up your true history because we don't have like 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 um like you wrong Rome. You could say, "Yo, I'm Phil, uh, uh, I'm I'm Samoan." I can go look up like I'm Samoan. These are my people. Nate, you can say, "Yeah, I'm Filipino. These are my people." But yeah. a lot of people here, especially like of my color, I I, I say I'm black. There is no nation of black. I can say I'm African. There is no really African nation. It's when you go to Africa, there is no really Africans. You're you're uh, Nigerian. You're you're um, you're South African. You're 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 something specific of your tribe. We don't have that here, and that forces people like myself to go out and go look for where you came from. That forces you to go look at different documentaries, looking up. Not, I'm not saying that you're agreeing with all the documentaries, but you're going to go look for pieces of you in those documentaries. That's possible. So that's 
That's crazy. That's crazy. But I had to ask y'all because I, I I know I know I wasn't like I said. Nah, I, but, 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 but as I was, far as Samoans too, they taught like, us out them books like, written by like white history, people. Like like history on the Samoans. Like like when I was young, they taught us that the some us Samoans we were cannibals until like fucking like the 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 Germans came over here and you know took over our islands and then you know it took us fucking centuries before we became you you know our own country you know what I'm saying or our yeah. you know whatever it's like so like we don't really I mean we know the history but you know but what people like what they teach about it is 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 you know it's just saying we was just cannibals before you know yeah. we were discovered you know what I'm saying and then which is I I, I think I feel like it's fucked up and that's not the truth but yeah, and that's what I'm that saying. That goes for a lot of races too. It's like, it's, yeah, it's like, like, and I and I'm saying this because like my 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 girl, right, my lady, she Mexican. You feel me? So she can go and say I'm Mexican. My heritage comes from this part of Mexico and this this city and these type of people because she's a dark she's a darker Hispanic, right? She can say that. But when you talk to when you, if you ask me where I come from, I'm gonna be like. I was born in Chicago. I grew up in Texas. I moved to wherever. That's like, I can't tell you specifically what I am for real. And most people, believe it or not, cannot tell you. Yep. Like Nate, Nate, on some real shit. When you get a chance, uh, does, your, uh, is your, does your lady, is your lady like a specific, is she like Jamaican or anything like that? Or does she no. know? So she doesn't know, but she is. But she a sister though, right? Yes, yes, yes. That's what I'm saying. So she, in a similar way, not to throw her in the mix, but just in a similar way, like it's, you can't. We can only tell you what city we were born in. Right. We can right. Only I tell understand you what, what you're saying. I totally understand yeah. what you're saying. One hundred percent. So that yeah. that makes people when you get a certain age, that makes you go look. You go searching for where you like what like what like what tribe or anything. What like what. What what is it? Yeah, like, you were for instance, fucking like I was adopted, but I know my people was uh Filipino from the Philippines, but from a island called Mindanao. Like I could track it back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so I understand what you're saying. And it's it's it so no, no, nah, for real. Cause I say with my my kid my children, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. exactly. So and, and your children are blessed because at least one side of their family they can trace. Yeah, they can yeah, go yeah, all the way back sure. to. That's you how did. ours is too. I don't know my where my black side is from besides New Jersey, but you know my grandma being German, we know where we're at in Germany and what village and stuff like that. So I could track that down. But I, as far as black side, it'd only be to like East Orange, New Jersey, and that's it. Yeah, and this is this is something because I'm not trying to make this about race because, like I said, I love everybody. Oh, it makes sense. Though. It makes you perfect sense. I love everybody, but if you are of color and you are American, you feel me? If you're so-called black, if you want to call it, if you want to label yourself that, <clears throat> whenever you get a chance to go study, go look up, just go look up different things about the past and what and, and what people of color were um, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 BC. Go look up. I know people right. say the wars and things of that nature, but it's deeper. It's deeper than that, especially when right. we are considered pretty much the first color of people on this planet. Go do that history. Go, go, Just go look up different history. You might find yourself in that history. And if you don't find yourself, you're going to find some like yourself in that history. So go look it up. Go look up different things. Don't take my word from it. Don't just look at one piece of text or one documentary anti-Semitic, whatever. Don't look at one documentary. Go look at a whole bunch of documentaries and see if he can find you. That's just a recommendation because you don't have to do that shit. You can just live if you want to. That's cool, too. Right. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got. I never, I, got. I never, I honestly never even thought about that, like only being able to trace just one side unless you yeah. did like some 23 Me type shit, but you know, like I never really thought about that. Bro, I asked this on some real shit. I asked my mom. I was like, my I asked my mom. I was like, you know, like where the fuck we from? She was like, I don't know. Maybe West Africa. I don't know. Maybe even here. 
maybe in America, I don't know, the Virgin Islands, possibly all of this mm -hmm. stuff. And then I asked my grandma before, <laughs> before she passed away, my grandma was just like, I don't know. Um, I just know that we were, um, that we, uh, that my great grandma, I mean, my, my mother was a slave. My great grandma was a slave. My dad was a slave and all that. That's all they knew. That's like all they talking, knew. You talking about their background? Yeah. Oh, okay. I was like, wait. You're, they didn't know. My grandmother and my great grandmother could not trace past a fucking ship that brought people over here. So they don't yeah. even know where where the ship even came from. Even if it if it probably didn't even come from Africa. Who knows? Right, right. right. And my and of course I asked my pops. Like I asked my pops too. My pops is like, man, I don't give a fuck about that shit, nigga. I'm from <laughs> Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> nigga, I'm a vice lord from Chicago, Illinois. That's my dad. You feel me? Old old gangster. I didn't it know your dad was from Chicago. Yeah, that's 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 where most of my family, majority of my family is from Chicago. I wouldn't but, be surprised um, my families knew each other. That's why I was born there. I didn't grow up there though. I was born there, but not growing oh, up. Oh, he was born there. in Chicago? What the fuck? Yeah, that's where right. he his his uh his R and B group, pretty Ricky at. You know <laughs> you're <what> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> then then I then, yeah, hey. uh, Oh, uh, Ricky. <laughs> then, then, I moved, oh. then I moved down to what you call it too. I moved down to Atlanta and started uh Jagged Edge. <laughs> Jagged yeah, Edge. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you hey, really you, look like that dude. Do you know what part of Chicago your family's from? Uh honestly, uh South Side, South Side Columbia of Chicago. Columbia Heights, this really nice right. suburb mm. equivalent to no, Bellevue. That's where all my family's at on <laughs> Columbia Heights. <laughs> Chicago's small, but it's not. So I wouldn't be surprised Man, if our families know each other. Yeah, I got a lot of family still there. Uh, major, uh, predominantly uh, uh, South Highland and uh, and Harvey, Illinois. This explains is like, uh, right why you family. think Jordan is the GOAT. This is starting to make nah. sense. Yeah. Kobe mm -hmm. Bryant is the greatest of all time. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. Kobe. You know, BP's going to come out of nowhere. The, the Joker... <laughs> no, he he's not gonna say the he's not gonna say uh the Joker. He's gonna say Fat Lever. Or, hey, yeah, uh, Fat Lever. <laughs> hey, Nate, Nate, are you getting no, sick? Alex. 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 Hey, you wanna get your thoughts on media, man? I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah, <laughs> tell these niggas.